Hello, how is everybody doing today? I'm here for the Goddess Provisions for the month of December. I'm a little late to the game, but I figure better late than never. Um, so I've had this box for a few days. I actually thought that I skipped this month, <laughs> but apparently the universe said, no, you need this box. So I got this the other day and I'm just getting around to doing the unboxing. So this is what it looks like when you open it up here. Um, I don't really know the theme this month. So it says, I connect to the magic within. Very pretty. And they're calling it the Spirit Allies. So, oh, looks like we got a deck. <laughs> so, that's kind of cool. It's a 60 card deck and guidebook. And I usually like to cleanse my decks before I get started. So I'm going to go through the other things in the box and then we'll get into the deck last. I have some um, Yerba Santa over here. So I'm gonna light that and kind of set the vibe. I like the artwork there, pretty. I hope everyone has a good start to their December so far. I can't believe we're like halfway through it. It's unbelievable. Okay, and then the first thing I see here is this little doohickey. Yeah, it's kind of like a velvet material. It looks like a, well, it kind of looks like an ornament that you hang, I guess. Um, but the design has got like crescent moon and an eye, um, triple moon design. Um, it's kind of like a velvet material. Um, is this like a, like for a Ouija board, like a, a plancha? <laughs> Or something I don't know let's see what they say uh, yes it's called the divine guidance planchette ornament commonly associated with the Ouija board the planchette is a tool that can be used to find the answers you seek hang this on a tree in your window or on a doorknob to remind yourself that the answers are always within reach it's a $14 value. I think this would be cool to hang on your tree, but then also, um, if you know how to sew, you could always like cut into it and then maybe stuff it with some mugwort and put it under your pillow for like um, lucid dreaming, or you could put lavender in there. You could definitely put some herbs in there. And the next thing I see, this little, what is this? I guess you would call this a, um, like a coin, coin purse. It's got a big zipper designed with the crescent moon again, which I love. And it's hard to see, but it's like, it's kind of like a faux leather, but um, it's got these crescent moons like the moon phase which I love just on the front it's just the one design on the front and then it looks like it's lined also lined with something on the inside so that's pretty cute let's see what they have to say about it they're calling it the celestial moon sorry the celestial magic coin purse this vegan leather coin purse is the perfect holder for your loose change or to keep your crystals, money, and other valuables from disappearing onto the depths of your bag. It's an $11 value. 
it's kind of nice size. I have like a bunch of different, um, like bigger size ones uh, right now, and I, I don't really have any smaller ones, so that's that will come in handy. And I do love that. That's really cute. And then we have. Um, this little wooden got his provisions um, it looks like an oracle card holder or a tarot card holder that's my guess and yes they're calling it the cosmic serpent oracle card holder embrace your routine and display your daily oracle pulls with this mystical card holder inspired by our serpent guides. Remember the power of transformation each time you lay out a card. Yes, it's funny that um, they're giving me this serpent because I just, before I started filming, found this paper called the Snake Prayer. So I think that's really fitting that this was in the box. Um, snakes very much uh, in different cultures represent transformation because it's shedding of the skin. I've uh, dived deep into this because I've made designs with snakes um, in my artwork. So I think I actually, um, before I made my necklace, I have this necklace I call, um, well, it's from his collection I call Wisdom, Truth, and Light, but it's, uh, it's the transformation snake. And I think that I actually read this before I made it, and so, yeah, it's very, um, they're very uh, symbolic, so I like that very much. And the last thing in this box is this necklace here. Finally getting a silver colored necklace because the last couple times in these boxes that I've gotten they've been necklaces that are gold which I like gold too but it's nice to have a silver one and then today I'm wearing <laughs> this ring that was in um, several boxes ago I want to say it's been like a year maybe like maybe last December I got that um, so this is really cool the moon magic necklace um, I'm not a hundred percent sure about the chain but I can always switch out chains. I have millions of chains. So let's check it out. Looks like a quartz crystal. A crystal point. Oops, excuse me. The little crescent moon. Yeah, you can easily take it off the chain. I could even uh, put a bigger jump ring on it. This one doesn't look like it's silver. I mean, for the price of the box, I doubt they could ever do anything in silver. It says that the clear quartz on your necklace is known as one of the master healer crystals. Wearing this stone can help you connect with your psychic abilities and amplify the properties of any other stones you're working with and they're saying that this is kind of like the stone because usually every month they give you a stone but they're saying that this is the stone um and then the moon magic necklace this is where your clear your chakras and help remove energetic blockages with the clear quartz necklace wear this when you are seeking clarity or connection to your spirituality and it's by the Hochi Jewels I think it's the same people that made this ring um, and it says that it's a $38 value and if you guys want to check them out it looks like they have a coupon code here pretty cool and that's the last thing in the box other than this deck um, which they are saying it's the Spirit Allies Oracle deck and that it's valued at 
Um, so let's just go ahead and open that puppy up. Check it out. Looks like my Yerba Santa went out, so I'm gonna relight that as well. But this is really cute, I like this. I definitely think I'm gonna put it on a different chain though. Cute and petite when you don't want to wear a huge piece. It could also probably be like, um, you could probably use this as a, like, like a pentagram. I mean, not a pentagram. A, um, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm having a mind fart here. A, It'll come to me. A pentacle. Not a pentacle, a pentagram, but a pendulum. <laughs> oh my god, my brain. Where is it? You know, like a pendulum. Spins around. That's what I meant. Anyways, I need some cleansing myself, obviously. I've just been like, not with it. Just not with it, man. I need to get with it. All right, so let's open this deck up. Looks like a nice little box here. It says, ask and you shall receive. You are always guided. Comes with this nice little book. It's about 80 pages. Ooh, and it um, looks like it's gilded silver design on the side, which I really like. So I'm just gonna pull it one by one. And I'm gonna properly cleanse this deck and then we'll um, We'll pull a card for the collective. First card is our mid. They're a little bit stuck together, but it feels like it's malleable and could shuffle well. Then we have number two, which is Benzitat. What is that? Benzitin? I hope I'm saying that right. Apologize if I'm mispronouncing any of these. Then we have number three, Cleopatra. Then we have number four, which is Durga. Then we have number five, which is Eos. Does not want to stay lit today. six which is Isis it's a beautiful card then we have seven Yakshin so far it's all goddesses gods and goddesses number eight is Nanshi Nine is Nix. Nix? I don't know. Then we have ten ocean. Eleven is Sarawati.
I'm not even going to try. <laughs> 12 is this one here. Thirteen is ametrine. So now we have drifted into the stones, crystals. Fourteen, angel light. Fifteen, clear quartz. Sixteen, kunzite, which is kind of nice. You don't really see this one a lot. I have some of this. Number 17, which I work with all the time, Labradorite. Sorry guys. No smudging issues. Number 18 is Moonstone, which I work with also a lot. 19 is Obsidian. Another favorite stone of mine, 20 Opal. 22. I actually have an owl that is rhodochrosite right here. Like that hand carved owl. It's all rhodochrosite. Love it. Number 23 is a spirit quartz. 24, tiger's eye. 25, ashwagandha. I mean ashwagandha. I'm friggin' I need ashwagandha. This is ayahuasca. I had that word fresh in my mind because I have this like mix that I put in my coffee and tea. Little ashwagandha mix. But this I have never tried. Maybe one day. 26, Blue Lotus. 27. Sorry, I just want to really cleanse the deck. So we need to get some real smoke in here. 27, Cacao. I love cacao. It's really good for your heart. It's got a really... Beautiful energy. 28, cannabis. I love my cannabis too. <laughs> and I have not heard of this one. 29 is a polka. Thirty Kava Kava. Supposed to be very relaxing. 31 Grantham Kratom Don't know that one either 32 Some Shrooms 33 Peyote One that I've not tried either but they say peyote is a masculine energy and ayahuasca is the female energy. 34, poppy. It's a very pretty card. I like the colors. 35, salvia. Kind of like lavender. Thirty-six. We have 
San Pedro cactus. Also, if ingested, can be hallucinogenic, I've heard. Not tried that myself. Don't try this at home, kids. Then we have shifted over to the spirit animals, bat. This black panther. Oh, I love that little crescent. Third eye. Then we have the dragon. Frog. Mm, hummingbird. I love hummingbirds. We have a lot of them around here. The moth. Very pretty. The colors that they chose for that one. 43 is rabbit. And so some on the the cover of the deck. The raven there. And the moth. And the shrooms. And the poppy. Then we have the snake. 45. All coiled up. Almost like a Kind of like a yin and yang or something. Then we have unicorn 46. This does not want to stay lit today. Sorry, we're almost done. <laughs> it's important to cleanse, I say. Cleanse. Then we have white buffalo. Wolf. Then we have drifted into astrology with the Aries. Taurus. Gemini. Leo Virgo Libra Scorpio Sagittarius, that is my son, he's a Sag. Capricorn, we're in the Capricorn energy now. The next full moon is going to be in Capricorn. Then we have Aquarius. And last but not least, Pisces. That is my sign and also my husband's sign. We're the fishies. Yay for all the fishies out there. All right, so that is all the cards properly cleansed. Let's shuffle and pick, pick a card for the collective. What is the message that we all need? What do we need to know? Shuffle's good. 
has a nice um it feels good it nice and malleable yeah it feels good so far i'm liking this deck i'm quite impressed with goddess provisions this month So this is the card that we got, 36, San Pedro Cactus. Let's see what they have to say about it. It says, I am stepping into my desired reality. Standing tall against the sandy background of the desert, the San Pedro cactus reaches to the sky. Despite the spines that extend along its whole stalk, don't let this cactus fool you. Eventually it will produce large white bl blossoms that would delight any passerby. The San Pedro cactus embodies the energy of the grandfather archetype and is all about empowerment and divine love. Let this serve as a reminder to you that no goal or dream is unreachable when you tap into a confident loving vibration and are willing to surrender your preconceived notions and limitations. You must first believe in yourself and secondly that you that your desired reality is possible. It's time to shift your perception to see the truth and beauty that is always present. Everything is in the divine order. Even if it looks messy, you have the power to step into your ultimate reality, one that is truly playful, loving, joyous, and fun. What you may not know is that it already exists. It's just waiting for you to choose it in this very moment. Smile, you got this. Yeah. And then it says journal prompt. You can, you can, no, so sorry, it says journal prompt. How can you remind yourself of your personal power? I like that. That's a very good message. Yay for that. And yay for this box. This is a, definitely a good one. Thank you, Goddess Provisions. If I had to pick a favorite, I think I would definitely have to, of course, pick the deck. Um, I think this is really nice. I love the little extra touch with the silver gilding here. Um, it's a, it's a nice um, little oracle set here. And I do like the necklace. I think I will get use out of that. Um, and then I like the coin little purse. And then um, this would be cute on my tree. And then I don't know what I'll do with it after. Maybe I will, um, I don't know, do my little herb stuff stuff it thing <laughs> stuff some herbs in there make it a little sachet of you know kind of like i don't know maybe like a mojo bag or something like that so first would be the deck then actually i have to say i like the oracle little card holder then the necklace then the coin purse then the little ornament so that is everything here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you guys are interested in this box, I believe you can still get it um, on the Goddess Provisions site. I will go ahead and include the link down below. If you decide that you wanna get the box, um, use my link, that would be really awesome. And if not, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite is and I hope you're all doing well. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you, bye-bye.